So, episode two. In this one, we're gonna look at the basics of free riding, the basics of how to recognize avalanche risks, and how to stay safe out there. So we're gonna look at just the natural signs of any potential danger. Start of the season, obviously most likely, probably, like we can see here, it's only been like one big snowfall. So you got a lot of snow that goes like straight down to the ground, to the base. And as we can see here, it's been, this, this snowpack here is pretty damn unstable. So it's been triggered everywhere. And you can see it goes all the way down to the rocks. Before you go out, like first thing in the morning, you read the bulletin in the morning, the avalanche bulletin. And that will give you some information where the most risk of the day lies. So, so basically orientation wise, like what size the north, the north faces, the south faces. If it's like wind blown, if it's yeah, it kind of, it gives you a big, a really good background of or where it could be dangerous. Some signs of uh, dangerous avalanche terrain is obviously you see some cracking in the snow. That's obviously snow about to slide or it's already slid already, which it has here. And then how it's been affected by the wind. So behind me here, you can see it's blown over here with all these wind lips and stuff. So it's really like wind loaded here. You've seen the snow is like blown in all in here. And obviously steepness is a ma major factor, so degrees. So anything over 30 degrees in vert verticality is obviously going to be dangerous and going to be easier to slide. So. In days like these, you, yeah, you definitely want to stay on a bit more easier terrain and don't go too steep. The terrain we're in now doesn't, to me, like look very steep and probably to other people as well. And that's why this sort of stuff happens because they're like, oh, it's actually not that steep and they go out of here and it is steep enough. So this is probably like, yeah, 40, yeah, 30, 40 degrees here. So it's like really important in the start of the season to people really like, yeah, to really check the conditions and go into the easier terrain. Because yeah, people get way too excited in the pre-season and yeah, slides very easy. So when I dropped in, after my first turn, I basically triggered the first slab. I had not really anticipated it because I had not taken the time to sit at the top and to look at my run. So in a panic mode, I reacted you know, as my only kind of option to just point down because I hadn't planned all my exits. I kind of made it with a little bit of a tumble through the rocks, but I made it to the bottom of the more technical section, you know, uh, in front of the avalanche. At that point, I thought I was out of trouble. And all of a sudden, that first small slab kind of released the whole bottom of the run. 